and welcome to Chef Carter's Cooking Corner. So today on Chef Carter's Cooking Corner, we're going to be making this delicious cinnamon apple cake from Good Housekeeping's recipes from 1982. Yes, a historic recipe. So here's a copy of my book right here. And the recipe came from, I believe, page 198 in that book. But I did make a few changes and I'll tell you along the way. So, first thing I did was I started uh, with some softened butter. It was um, one stick of butter, which is a half cup. And I added a half cup of applesauce. The original recipe actually calls for one cup of butter, but I'm running a little low as it's the end of the week. And also that was a lot of butter to be putting in, into this cake. So I also added two teaspoons of vanilla and one and three fourths cup of sugar. So then I beat those together until relatively smooth. And then I added my eggs and I decided to add one and then the others just to help blend it a little bit better. So all together it was three eggs that I added. There we go. So you want to blend that And then you want to take your dry ingredients. So this is three cups of all-purpose flour. And then you want to add two teaspoons of cinnamon, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. All right, and then I like to mix my dry ingredients before adding them to the wet mixture. It just ensures that all your dry ingredients are well blended, so maybe you won't have a pocket of cinnamon or a pocket of salt. So when you blend them together, it just makes sure everything is well incorporated. All right, so I'm going to add the flour in two stages. So about half the flour goes in there. And then I'm going to add half of the milk. And with the milk, it's one cup of milk. All right, so then once that's kind of blended, then I'm going to add the rest. I probably should have done this in three stages because the, the flour did poof. <laughs> got over a lot of stuff but that's okay it still worked out <laughs> so and if you caught that I also added the rest of the milk all right so once all the ingredients are blended you want to add your apples the recipe calls for five medium apples I use small I think I used about seven or eight small apples and then you add, I added walnuts, and that was two-thirds cup of walnuts, I added. Alright, then you want to fold those two ingredients into the cake batter. Then take your prepared cake pan. I sprayed mine with Pam, but you could also flour and grease your pan as well but you want to do that before you start making your cake mix all right so once you get that in there um in the recipe it says take two apples and you will core them and cut them into rings so i don't have a core i just took a knife and kind of cut the core out some of my rings broke, but that's okay. If your rings break, just put the two halves together. Look, that one broke on me. <laughs> that was no problem. Just put them together there. They'll be all right. All right. You may want to space yours out a little bit better than I did. Then you're to take three tablespoons of apple jelly, but I didn't have apple jelly, so I used uh, peach instead and I just kind of put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds 
so that it would melt and become a little more liquid so I could brush on each of the apples. So I guess that helps to protect the apple and actually add a little extra sweetness and flavor. So you cook it for 45 to 50 minutes at 350 degrees and of course preheat that oven and that's what it looked like. So I served mine up with a maple cinnamon whipped cream and look at that isn't that beautiful just so yummy all right well thank you for stopping by chef carter's cooking corner remember to like subscribe share and stick around and watch more videos all right take care